I was stuck behind a freaking crowd. And tell everybody to take their seats. You want to get your um, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, we are getting ready to start the council meeting. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the December 2023 City Council meeting. Tonight's meeting is being held in City Council Chambers and is being streamed live on City 12 TV as well as the City Council's Facebook and YouTube pages. We also continue to post meeting information and materials on the city's website. The meeting will now come to order and I ask Clerk Washington to call the roll. Councilmember Gruber. Councilmember Harris. Here. Councilmember Lightfoot. Present, ma'am. Councilmember Martin. Councilmember Patterson. Here. Councilmember Pio. Here. Councilmember Smith. Here. Vice President Lupian. Here. President Melendez. Here. Thank you. So tonight I would like to ask the council and the community to join me in a moment of silence honoring all of those we have lost over the years and particularly this year as we embark on the holiday season. Please join me in a moment of silence. Thank you. Councilmember Patterson, will you please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? So I'd like to invite my colleagues to join me here at the podium for tonight's recognitions. So this month we are acknowledging two high school football teams who went above and beyond this year and became Class A and Class B football champions. So first, I would like to invite the Monroe Red Jackets football team and the coaching staff. Please join us at the front here near the podium. <laughs> Go ahead. 
Got plenty of space up here. Just get in where you fit in. <laughs> so to, to the coaching staff and to the leadership team, we are so proud of your commitment to your team. It takes a lot of patience and dedication to be able to lead a team to success, and you have done it. Keep up the great work. To the students, we want to extend our excitement and pride for being Class B football champions. Your efforts have strengthened the city of Rochester, and you are all role models for what a school, a team, and student athlete in our city looks like. So you have all proven to yourselves and everyone in Rochester what can be accomplished with hard work, perseverance, and determinations. You are true champions. So let's all give it up again for Monroe. Yeah. We'll take a moment for pictures. Yeah. Council members are going to go up to the dais real quick. So next, can the East High School Eagles football team and the coaching staff please join us up front? To the coaching staff and the leadership team, thank you for your guidance and passion. Your dedication to your students is clearly <clears throat> based, excuse me, your dedication to the students is clearly shown based on their accomplishments this year. A team is only as strong as their coaches are. Please keep up the great work with the students. To the students, we want to extend our pride for your effort and teamwork to become Class A football champions you have made your school my alma mater, your family and city proud. Congratulations on your accomplishment 
and know that you have strong a strong support system all around you including those of us in the community who are watching you from afar you can do anything you set your mind to with that we'll take a moment for pictures but before that let's give them a huge huge round of applause So congratulations to both teams on your championships. We look forward to hearing of your many future accomplishments in the city of Rochester and repeating next year. So we are also joined tonight by Don Noto and members of the Rochester Fire Department. Can you all please join us at the front of the room? So for those of you who do not know, Don Noto is a Susan B. Anthony neighborhood resident, organizer, and leader. On March 23rd, Don suffered a massive heart attack in her home. Captain Stuart Kenyon, firefighters Charles Mate, Gregory Ransom, and Samuel Torres responded to the scene and performed CPR on Don twice before she was transported to Strong Memorial Hospital. Because of the life-saving measures they performed, Dawn is here with us today. <laughs> While we know this is part of the job, we also understand that the work in community for first responders is often a thankless job. So we wanted to make sure today that we thanked you all for your service on behalf of Dawn, but also on behalf of City Council that you provide to our community. We are truly grateful for your heroic efforts. So one of the things I wanted to mention um, in, the, in the community setting, I often um, you know, I have to make phone calls related to opioid overdoses and other things that happen in our community. And it is our fire department that is often first on the scene. And it is often our firefighting department that is not just putting out fires, but saving lives in many other ways in the community. So I just want to make sure that the community acknowledges and understands that the very difficult frontline work that is beyond just fighting fires. And we appreciate you all. Thank you. We'll take a moment for pictures.
All right, so we also have two notable departures to acknowledge from the city administration. Deputy Mayor Patrick Cunningham and Corporation Counsel Linda Kingsley are both retiring at the year end. Last week, they each received the city's highest honor, highest civilian honor, a key to the city. So tonight, I simply wanted to offer our thanks for their service to the city and the citizens of Rochester. And to wish you both a long and peaceful and well-deserved retirement. Maybe, maybe come to speak to council if you want to, or, or not, but it'll be good to see you again. Resident. You're a resident, all right. Um, but Patrick, Linda, if, if you would like to, we, we'd welcome you to say a few words. If not, we're, we're also happy to uh, just thank you for your service. All right, and my council colleagues, we can go back to the days. So part of moving back to the dais was to uh, trick Jose into believe, or Councilman Repeal, um, but we are doing a proclamation from the council. So tonight is Councilmember Peel's last meeting on city council, and we'll now read a proclamation in his honor for his time on city council. Whereas City Council Member Jose M. Pale has represented the Northwest District of the City of Rochester in his tenure on City Council, which will end on December 31st, and Whereas Council Member Pio is a native of Rochester, growing up in the Northeast District before moving to Irondequoit, and as an adult moved back to Rochester when he brought a home in his beloved Charlotte neighborhood and whereas council member Pio exhibited passions for philanthropy and entrepreneurialism from an early age carrying these values through his role with city council he has grown over the years from selling candy on his elementary school bus <laughs> to running his own business and whereas council member Pio served in the army after high school as an intelligence analyst in Korea and along the southern US border in South and in South America and Whereas, following his service, Councilmember Peel earned a degree in marketing from SUNY Brockport and... Whereas, after returning to the city of Rochester in 2015, Councilmember Peel became deeply involved in the Sherlock Community Association, serving as vice president until he successfully ran for city council and... Whereas, we recognize our colleague Councilmember Peel's work on city council and we wish him... And we wish Councilmember Peel much success and happiness in his future endeavors and thank him for his service to our city and... Now, therefore, we, Council President Miguel A. Melendez, Jr., Council Vice President Mary Lupian, and Council Members Mitch Gruber, Lachey D. Harris, Willie J. Lightfoot, Stanley Martin, Michael A. Patterson, and Kimberly Smith of the City of Rochester on this 19th day of December 2023 offer our thanks to Jose M. Pio. Mr. Mr. President, I, I hate to interrupt, but there is another item that actually is not on the agenda that Councilmember Smith wanted to uh, begin at this time. Whereas the Rochester Business Journal's annual 40 Under 40 Awards recognize Rochester leaders who are younger than 40 years old and... Whereas these honorees have excelled in bettering the community through their professional accomplishments, community service, and commitment to inspiring change and... 
Whereas this year, Rochester City Council President Miguel A. Melendez Jr. was named a 40 under 40 honoree based on his crucial contributions to the city of Rochester and Rochester community at large. And whereas President Melendez is currently serving his first full term on Rochester City Council after being appointed to the role in 2022, 2020, sorry, to fill an unexpired term. Whereas in a short time, President Melendez has led city council to new heights as a co-equal branch of government, reconstructing the city council staffing model to better accommodate the needs of a well-functioning city government and... Whereas President Melendez's community-focused approach extends beyond his role in city government. As a top executive in the Bureau of American Action League, President Melendez devotes his, his life to bettering, bettering Rochester City the Rochester community and especially those in his community who have historically been ignored and underserved and whereas we thank President <clears throat> Melendez for his continued leadership and congratulate him as he receives this well-deserved 40 under 40 award President Melendez's leadership has led us to grow as a government body as our city continues to grow improve and set course for the future and now therefore we Council Vice President Mary Lupian and Council Members M Mitch Gruber, Lachey D. Harris, Willie J. Lightfoot Stanley Martin, Michael A. Patterson, Jose P.O., P. and Kim Smith of the City of Rochester, on this 19th day of December 2023, offer our thanks and congratulations to Miguel A. Melendez, Jr. You, you got me. <laughs> Had to do. <laughs> Next, we have the approval of the minutes by Councilmember Smith. Resolved that the minutes of the regular meeting on November 14, 2023, be approved as published in the official sheets of the proceedings. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. The following documents are hereby directed to be received and filed. The council submits a disclosure of interest form from President Melendez on introductory number 428 and council member Gruber on introductory number 439. Thank you, these documents will be received and filed. I do want to acknowledge that, um, folks, we appreciate you all being here tonight, and um, you are welcome to proceed as, as, as you please. Thank you very much. So it is now time for the presentation and reference of petitions and any other communications. Are there any petitions? Hearing none, we will now move on to the reports of standing committees and actions thereon. I'll give a moment to uh, clear chambers. Okay, I think we're safe to proceed. So earlier this month, the mayor submitted a statement of necessity, introductory number 440, authorizing the receipt and use of funds and a management agreement for the 
New York Statewide Preservation Conference. I will now ma make a motion and a second to consider introductory number 440. Is there a motion? Move it. Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor of consideration, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries. Any discussion on this matter? Move it. It's been moved again for, for adopting, seconded. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries. So yesterday I submitted a statement of necessity introduc in, on introductory number 441, a resolution of uh, approving appointments to the Board of Assessment Review. I will entertain a motion in a second to consider introductory 441. It's been moved. Second. It's been seconded. Now we'll vote on considering the matter. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Any discussion? It's been moved. Second. Seconded. So now we vote on adopting introductory number 441. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. We will now move on to the reports of standing committees and action thereon. Chairperson Lightfoot, the Parks and Public Works Committee report, please. Thank you, Mr. President. And to the council, the Parks and Public Works Committee recommends for adoption the following title legislation. Introduction number 412, authorizing Excel of abandoned portion of Balfour Drive. Introduction number 413, authorizing acquisition of negotiation of permanent easement over 21 and 51 Holster Street for water hydrants. Introduction number 415, authorizing an intermissible agreement with the Rochester Housing Authority. Uh, the Parks and Public Works Committee recommends for consideration the following uh, entitled legislation. Introduction number 411, amending the official map in relation to the abandonment and renaming portion of Belfort Drive. Uh, introduction number 414, authorizing a mandatory agreement and the alteration payment with for the 2024 pre preventive maintenance project. Uh, respectfully submitted by Council Member Dr. Mitch Gruber, Jose Pio, Vice President uh, Mary Lupian, President Miguel Melendez, and myself, Willie J. Lightfoot. Thank you, Chairperson Lightfoot. That report will be received, filed, and published, and we'll proceed with the vote. Introduction number 411, amending the official map in relation to the abandonment and renaming of portions of Balfour Drive. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Introductory number 412, authorizing the sale of an abandoned portion of Balfour Drive. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Introductory number 413, authorizing the acquisition by negotiation of permanent easements over 21 and 51 Holster Streets for water hydrants. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Introductory number 414, authorizing a mandatory agreement and the alteration of pavement widths for the 2024 preventative maintenance project. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Introductory number 415, authorizing an intermissible agreement with the Rochester Housing Authority. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Chairperson Patterson, the Neighborhood and Business Development Committee report, please. Thank you, President Melendez. To the council, the Neighborhood and Business Development Committee recommends for adoption the following and entitled legislation. Introductory number 416, authorizing the sale of real estate. Introductory number 418, amending ordinance number 2017-91 related to the Center City Commercial and Mixed Use Initiative Project at 143-153 St. Paul Street. Introductory number 419, appropriating funds and amending the 2023-24 budget for an affordable housing rehabilitation program. The Neighborhood and Business Development Committee recommends for consideration the following and entitled legislation. Introductory number 437, authorizing long-term lease of a portion of 835-855 West Main Street to ESL Federal Credit Union. This report is respectfully submitted by myself, Michael A. Patterson, Council Members Lachey D. Harris, Council Member Kimberly Smith, Council Vice President Mary Lupian, and Council President Miguel A. Melendez, Jr. Thank you, Chairperson Patterson. That report will be received, filed, and published, and let's proceed with the vote. Introductory number 416, authorizing the sale of real estate. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Introductory number 418, amending ordinance number 2017-91, 
relating to the Center City Commercial and Mixed Use Initiative Project at 143-153 St. Paul Street. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Introductory number 419, appropriating funds and amending the 2023-24 budget for an affordable housing rehabilitation program. Councilmember Harris has submitted a disclosure of interest form as she is the city council representative to the Rochester Land Bank Corporation Board. She may discuss and vote on this item. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Introduction number 437, authorizing a long-term lease of a portion of 835-855 West Main Street to ESL Federal Credit Union. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Chairperson Harris, the Recreation and Human Services Committee report, please. Thank you, President Melendez. To the Council, the Recreation and Human Services Committee recommends adoption for the following entitled legislation. Introductory number 420, authorizing the consulting agreement regarding workforce development programming. Introductory number 421, authorizing the agreement for the neighborhood-based youth organizing project. Introductory number 422, appropriating funds and amending the 2023-24 budget for social emotional support programs. This report was respectfully submitted by Councilmember Willie J. Lightfoot, Councilmember Stanley Martin, Councilmember Vice President Mary Lupian, President Miguel A. Melendez, and myself, Lachey D. Harris. Thank you, Chairperson Harris. That report will be received, filed, and published, and we'll proceed with the vote. Introductory number 420, authorizing a consulting agreement regarding workforce development programming. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Say nay. The motion carries. Introductory number 421, authorizing an agreement for the neighborhood-based youth organizing project. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries. Introductory number 422, appropriating funds and amending the 2023-24 budget for social, social emotional support programs. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. I will now read the Public Safety Committee report. To the Council, the Public Safety Committee recommends for adoption the following entitled legislation. Introductory number 423, authorizing intermunicipal agreements and amending the 2023-24 budget for the 2024 Stop DWI and High Visibility Engagement Campaign programs. Introductory number 424, authorizing an intermunicipal agreement with the County of Monroe for a firearms instruction program. Introductory number 425, authorizing a grant agreement and amending the 2023-24 budget for the 2023 State Homeland Security Program. This report was respectfully submitted by Council Members Mitch Gruber, Lashady Harris, Willie J. Lightfoot, Stanley Martin, Michael A. Patterson, Jose Pio, Vice President Mary Lupian, Council Member Kim Smith, and myself, Miguel A. Melendez, Jr. And that report will be received, filed, and published, and we will proceed with the vote. Introductory number 423, authorizing an intermunicipal agreements and amending the 2023-24 budget for the STOP DWI and high visibility engagement campaign programs. Council Vice President has uh, the floor. Uh, yeah, and I, I brought this up during committee, but I'd like to request that uh, education and enforcement are very important, but that the administration put together a plan on how we could solve uh, the, 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 these intersections are very high traffic and there's a lot of issues, but how we can solve them through built environment. Thank you. Thank you. And with that, um, all, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Introductory number 424, authorizing an intermunicipal agreement with the County of Monroe for a firearms instruction program. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries. Introductory number 425, authorizing a grant agreement and amending the 2023-24 budget for the 2023 State Homeland Security Program. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries. 
Chairperson Gruber, the Finance Committee report, please. To the Council, the Finance Committee recommends for adoption the following entitled legislation. Introductory number 426, authorizing an agreement for the Rock the Eclipse Festival. Introductory number 427, authorizing administrative tax cancellations and refunds of $1,000 or less for 2024. Introductory number 428, authorizing an amendatory agreement for the operation of the South Avenue Garage. Introductory number 429, authorizing an agreement and amending the 23-24 budget for the Living Cities Grant Funded Home Ownership Program. Introductory number 430, authorizing an agreement for the Living Cities Grant Funded Business Starts and Growth Entrepreneur Training Program. Introductory number 431, authorizing agreements and amending the 23-24 budget relating to the development of an arts and culture plan. Introductory number 432, authorizing a professional services agreement for mental health first aid training. Introductory number 433, authorizing an agreement for, this, for state lobbying services. Introductory number 434, authorizing an amendatory agreement for a drug and alcohol testing program. Introductory number 435, authorizing an amendatory agreement for the employee assistance program. Introductory number 436, resolution establishing the maximum number of commissioners of deeds. Introductory number 438, approving an appointment to the Rochester Environmental Commission. And introductory number 439, a resolution approving appointment and reappointment to the Rochester Public Library Board of Trustees. This report was respectfully submitted by Council Members Michael Patterson, Mary Lupian, Kim Smith, Miguel Melendez, and myself, Mitch Gruber. Thank you, Chairperson Gruber. That report will be received, filed, and published, and we'll proceed with the vote. Introductory number 426, authorizing an agreement for the Rock the Eclipse Festival. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Introductory number 427, authorizing administrative tax cancellations and refunds of $1,000 or less for 2024. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Introductory number 428, authorizing an amendatory agreement for the operation of the South Avenue Garage. I have submitted a disclosure of interest form as I sit on the board for the Rochester Convention Center, um, Rochester Riverside Convention Center as the president of city council. So, but I may discuss and vote on this item. So all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Introductory number 429, authorizing an agreement and amending the 2023-24 budget for the Living Cities Grant Funded Home Ownership Program. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Introductory number 430, authorizing an agreement for the Living Cities Grant Funded Business Starts and Growth Entrepreneurship Training Program. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Introductory number 431, authorizing agreements and amending the 2023-24 budget relating to the development of an arts and culture plan. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Introductory number 432, authorizing a professional services agreement for mental health first aid training. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Introductory number 433, authorizing an agreement for state lobbying services. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Say nay. Motion carries. Introductory number 434, authorizing an amendatory agreement for a drug and testing, an alcohol testing program. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Introductory number 435, authorizing an amendatory agreement for the Employee Assistance Program. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Introductory number 436, a resolution establishing the maximum number of Commissioner of Deeds. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Introductory number 438, approving an appointment to the Rochester Environmental Commission. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. So before we end, I do have one miscellaneous business item, and then we will have to go into the Rochester Urban Renewal Agency 
um, uh, so before that, um, to the administration, just uh, recently there was um, another uh, concern related to um, the, the fire department report, the All Things Diverse report being released to the media. And the question for follow-up, and doesn't have to be now, is whether or not um, uh, that report is, is considered final and if we have already paid for that report. And we can get that in writing after the fact. Mr. President, can I just follow up with the question you just asked? Y yes, sir. The part of that question Mr. President asked, though, that we'd like to get in writing is, was the report paid for? Because if it was received as a final and paid for, then it's final. If, you know, if I order something and I pay for it, I own it. So I, I'd like to know, and it's a question, if the report that we were given on both FISC and all things diverse that have been told to us that are our drafts, have those reports and have those contractors, have they received payment for those reports? That's, that's, the que that's one of the questions yeah, at we, hand. We, we can get that in writing and get what was paid for so far because the report and the engagement with all things diverse is a overall year contract. And we, we, can, we can break down what was paid for, what is still outstanding, but we can get that all in writing. Thank you. Thank you. And my apologies to my colleagues and to the administration. I did uh, skip over 439, so we will vote on 439. <laughs> um, a lot of moving parts up here. So I'm going to go back to 439, uh, introductory 439, a resolution approving appointment and reappointment to the Rochester Public Library Board of Trustees. Councilmember Gruber has submitted a disclosure of interest form, but he may discuss and vote on the item. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. With no further business, the city council meeting is adjourned and the, well, let me do that. And the meeting for the Rochester Urban Renewal Agency will come to order. And I'll ask the clerk to call the roll. Agent Council Member Gruber. Here. Agent Council Member Harris. Here. Agent Council Member Lightfoot. Present, ma'am. Agent Council Member Martin. Agent Council Member Patterson. Here. Agent Council Member Pio. Here. Agent. Council Member Smith. Here. Agent Vice President Lupian. Here. Agent President Melendez. Here. Thank you. It, it never works for me, but Agent Patterson. <laughs> it's the, the neighborhood. <laughs> it's been 10 years and it's just the weirdest <laughs> the thing. The Neighborhood and Business Development Committee report, please. To the agency. The Rochester Urban Renewal Agency's Neighborhood and Business Development Committee recommends for consideration the following entitled legislation. Introductory number URA5, designating the ESL Federal Credit Union as qualified and eligible to lease the underlying land and to establish, operate, and maintain a retail bank branch on a portion of 835, 855 West Main Street. This report is respectfully submitted by myself, Michael A. Patterson, council members, sorry, Agents Lachey D. Harris, Agent Kimberly Smith, Agent Vice President Mary Lupian, and Agent President Miguel A. Melendez, Jr. Thank you, Agent Patterson. That report will be received, filed, and published, and we'll proceed with the vote. URA 5, designating the ESL Federal Credit Union as qualified and eligible to lease and the underlying land and to establish, operate, and maintain a retail bank branch on a portion of 835-855 West Main Street. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. With no further miscellaneous business to come before the Rochester Urban Renewal Agency, we stand adjourned.